participate in a referendum as to whether or not their right as a free and individual person should be able to enter into a private contract for their health care or participate and cover their health care needs under their own determination, their own free will and decision. And it will disallow a government from mandating that an individual participate in a specific health care plan. You're not protecting anybody's right to buy private insurance because anybody can buy private insurance right now. Most people just can't afford it. We wouldn't know that because we have awesome insurance and we have choice thanks to the taxpayer who shouldn't have access to this. If this passes and the Constitution is amended, you're going to have a right to do so. But again, I can't stress this enough. The insurance companies have just as much of a right to say no to you. So in the end, not only are you taking away any opportunity for anybody with a pre existing to be covered by an insurance company, you are giving false hope here. False hope. You're not doing anything. This is a joke. It's a scam. This simply says you can go out and contract and buy a type of service from people you want to. But the insurance companies will offer a product. Then we are all cheap, why you gotta be able to afford that product? Well, you know what? Real problems with the healthcare system, the answer to the left 